Hey, and what a part right here. Um, now, this is definitely my favorite scene in this episode. And honestly, probably one of my top favorite scenes in all of, of the shows. Not my favorite, obviously. My favorite scene will always be my favorite scene. Um, but this scene where John is in the crypts, he's down there in the crypts. He's looking at, he's, he's looking at Ned, you know, he's paying homage uh, to the graveside of Ned. And, you know, he, he has like, he has a sigh. It, it shows that John's sigh. So he's obviously thinking, he's like, Ned, what would you have done? Um, Ned, how can I be uh, as good as a man or an, as honorable as a man as you are? Ned, what kind of decisions? Like, how can I hold my standards up to your standards? Because he's the most honorable man he's ever met. You know, John says it himself. Um, and how how Sam explains this to him, while they have John's reaction, while Ned's in the background, was just phenomenal. Because remember, the uh, back in season one, when John went to the wall and Ned went to King's Landing, they were at that crossroads. And John said, um, will you tell me who my mother was? Ned looks at him very emotional. And he says, when I see you again, I'll tell you, I promise. Ned was never able to keep that promise because Ned ended up dying in King's Landing. Um, but it's it pays homage that while he's, not only are they talking about what Ned did, but uh, Ned, in a sense, still feels like he's there um, while Sam is relaying that message to John because they have him in the background. They have his his presence there while Sam is speaking it. So just a great, just, just a great role. Absolutely, Daryl. Uh, Doctor Strange from Infinity War, that's exactly what he is. He is uh, absolutely ridiculous. And I'm curious what kind of role Sam's going to start to play now because um, he is, he seems like he's in a position where he doesn't really like Daenerys now after finding out that Daenerys killed his brother and killed his father. He's like, she's, she's a little bit, she's a little bit ruthless and he feels like John wouldn't have done that. Um, so um, I'm curious uh, how much more of a role Sam's going to kind of play when it comes to the, the whole Game of Thrones aspect, if he's going to take sides with Daenerys or if he's going to try to figure out uh, ways to convince Jon to uh, not take Danny's side. So. And look how Sam tells him, you've always been. I'm not talking about the King of the North. I'm talking about the King of the Seven Kingdoms. And then that music plays the music plays and it's it, it honestly it gives me chills explain it to him sam mike says no nah, he's upset about it but he'll get over it because it is war and she was like respectable about it he'll be mad for like two episodes well yeah this in this season two episodes is like that's like the whole show <laughs> Never been a bastard. True heir to the Iron Throne. And look how Ned's Ned's background, you guys can't really see it because I don't I don't want the whole picture on here just for like copyright reasons. But like you just see Ned's uh Ned's shadow in the background while Sam is telling him that. My father was the most honorable man that I've ever met. You're saying he lied to me my whole life. That's the first question that John asked because that hit home for him. Um, but what Sam explains to him is he had to keep that secret. Otherwise, they they would have they would have ended up killing you, John. Like uh, that's why he had to keep that secret. That's how much of a boss Ned was. Ned put his honor aside for honor, essentially. It's kind of like Vin Diesel in uh, what Fast and Furious Eight. The only thing that can stop him from saving his family is family. <laughs> so Ned, Ned is so honorable that 
he tarnished his honor, tarnished his honor by uh, going to Catlin, coming back home to Catlin with a child and telling Catlin, uh, Catlin Stark that I have a bastard. I, I, I slept with some, some random girl and I now have a, a, a bastard son. Um, and he, him being such a great honorable man, he, he, he tarnished his honor um, and he lied to his wife and he lied to his family and he lied to everybody else to keep the original honor that he uh, originally uh, made when uh, Liana was dying in her deathbed. Um, so, I mean, it was, you know, Ned was, Ned was a uh, galactic brain. He was a uh, big brain. He's, he's, he's way ahead of everybody. John's shocked about it, obviously. Um, it's, it's big news for him. Um, does John really care, though? Does John want to be king of the seven kingdoms? I don't, I don't think so.